Are you looking for a collaborative family banking kids debit card that focuses on teaching your kids how to save money? Then look no further than Till Financial. Till Financial is a family-friendly digital financial platform and debit card. This tool enables collaboration not only between parents and their children, but also between children and crucial members of their society. U.S. News & World Report called Till the best app for teaching teens to budget in 2021. This app is all about saving but it was also designed to teach kids and teens how to spend wisely and less impulsively. It enables users to set goals for themselves and work toward them with the support and encouragement of their families, and the app makes it simple to take advantage of the product's capabilities. What's up and welcome to Smart Money, where our mission is to give our viewers the motivation to make more money and the skills to keep it. In this video, we are going to talk about Till Financial. I'm going to tell you what Till is, who it's for, and how it might be the best kid's debit card to teach your kids about personal finance. Check out the links in the description if any of these cards interest you including a free offer that can get you up to 15 cents a gallon cash back when you go to the gas station. What is Till Financial? Till is a free app and debit card that allows kids and parents to work together to make better spending decisions. With Till, parents can find instructional moments to assist their children to learn financial literacy more easily than ever before. Till incorporates numerous safeguards to help parents restrain their children from spending more than they should, as well as possibilities to make saving incredibly gratifying. Every Till Family Banking sub-account holder is eligible for a debit card issued in their name. They can only use the funds on their card. Other cash could be allocated for savings purposes. What can kids and teens do with Till Financial? Earn. There are a few different ways for users to earn additional money for their accounts. They can begin by completing the tasks that have been assigned to them. These could be tasks or favors asked for by their parents or an administrator. They can then save their money. Users can also earn additional money for themselves by working hard toward their savings objectives either from their parents or from other friends and family members. Finally, they may receive an allowance or quick gives. Dend. The amount of money on a user's till debit card is referred to as their spend balance. This can be used practically any place Visa is accepted, including in-person and online transactions. The Till app allows users to update their PIN at any moment. Till debit cards work with mobile wallets such as Apple Pay, Google Pay, and Samsung Pay. They can also be used to make cash withdrawals or check account balances at ATM. The Till app allows users to locate free in-network ATMs. Every sub-account has a daily ATM's withdrawal restriction of $250 and a transaction limit of $2,500. It is not possible to overdraft an account or spend more than the amount available on a debit card. Save money. The more money users save, the more money they can make. They can use the app to set up various savings objectives. Their parents may decide to match their contributions to savings or even offer them interest on their balance, Interest payments must be paid solely by family owners or admins as they are not paid by Till Financial. From their dashboard, kids can readily view their progress toward their goals as well as any new contributions made by them, their parents, or an admin. When they achieve a goal, their entire support team is notified. Every time a kid wants to transfer money from one of their savings goals to their spend balance, they must first ask permission from their parents. What can parents do with Till Financial? Parents can fund their child's account with one-time transactions, recurring transfers or savings contributions. Quick gives are one-time contributions that can be paid directly to a child's spend balance or card or to one of their savings goals. Tasks are a type of one-time transfer that allows family owners and admins to create duties with predefined values. Sub-account users do these as they are assigned and payments are provided instantly once a duty has been confirmed by its creator. Recurring transfers are automated contributions that are pre-scheduled. Recurring contributions, matching contributions, and savings interest contributions are some examples. Parents select an amount to give and the day of the week they want the payment to be made for recurring contributions. This is a suitable solution for fixed allowance payments. Contributions to savings accounts are matched. In some cases, parents choose a percentage to give and choose which objective or goals to apply it to. This payment is then made each time a child contributes to that savings goal, and it is computed based on the child's balance at the time of the contribution. Interest on savings parental contributions enable them to pay interest on their child's savings balance. They select the interest rate or percentage, the target to which it will be applied, and the frequency with which interest payments will be made. The account owner is the individual who opens a Till account and they may desire to appoint an adult, such as a co-parent, as the account administrator. The administrator has the same abilities as the account owner with the exception of being unable to modify who owns the account or serve as an administrator. They can finance a child's account, transfer monies across accounts, contribute to savings, assign tasks, and do other things. There can be more than one administrator. A child's transaction history, balance, and other activity are all accessible to the account owner and admins. Account alerts can be enabled by both partners to be notified when a child uses their card, contributes to a savings goal, and so on. Account owners and slash or administrators can also invite community members to assist a youngster in reaching their objectives. 
Community members may only transfer funds from their own account to a child's account, either to a savings goal or to their spend balance. They are not permitted to make modifications such as transferring money from or within a child's account or adding new users. To make contributions, community members must link their own external bank accounts. Members of the community can also see a child's savings goals and offer support without adding money. Teachers, too, can become community members. An ACH transfer, credit or debit transaction, check deposit or direct deposit can all be used to fund an account. Play processes all ACH transactions. If a bank is not played compatible, it cannot be linked to TIL. Deposits and cash are not accepted. Limits till also has a referral scheme via which account holders, not their children, can earn money. Somewhat unusual for a family finance account. A user must open a family account, link an external bank account, and fund their account with at least $25 to be eligible to suggest another individual. They must also include at least one child as a beneficiary slash sub account holder. They will then be given a referral link to share. If someone clicks on this link and matches the above requirements, both the referrer and the recommended person will receive $10, who is TIL best for. Children between the ages of 8 and 18 are the target demographic for TIL Financial. The best candidates for the card are children and teenagers with savings objectives, as well as families who want to participate. Anyone over the age of 8 and under the age of 18 may join TIL and receive their own debit card. A parent or guardian creates an account and becomes the family owner while their children become sub-account holders or dependents slash beneficiaries. Family owners or account holders may also invite others to become admins and assist in the management of money and activity. TIL Financial vs. The Competition TIL's wide range of savings incentives is one of its most valuable advantages. If a parent wishes to emphasize the value of saving money for objectives, they can make it worthwhile by paying their children's interest and matching their balance. It's fantastic that TIL incorporates these features directly within the platform and makes them simple to use and adjust. A feature that is easy to appreciate is the ability to add community members, allowing family members and others invested in a child's financial success to assist in saving and cheering them on could be advantageous for many users, particularly inexperienced ones. When it comes to fostering excellent financial habits, having a support system can make all the difference. Till also has a good selection of financial choices. You won't see the most you've ever seen, but it should be significantly above average. Drawbacks of the card one of the most common criticisms regarding this product is that transfers must be conducted entirely through Plaid, which many banks do not support. Plaid is compatible with many banks, but some banks do not give the information that Plaid requires to function. Another disadvantage of cash deposits is that they cannot be used to fund an account. Though this is a pretty typical occurrence in family finance apps, it can still be restrictive. Another issue is that Android devices do not allow till family banking. Hopefully, this will change soon but there is no news on when this will occur. One final, tiny possible disadvantage is that the referral program does not immediately benefit teenagers. Other kids' debit products with referral systems allow kids to earn a little amount of money by informing their friends about their experience, while Till's referral scheme is aimed at parents. The Till Family Banking app has a rating of 3.8 out of 5 stars in the App Store, but there is currently no Till Family Banking app for Google Play. Positive product reviews state that the software and platform are practical and simple for their children to utilize. Till also teaches youngsters about financial literacy by providing them with realistic and encouraging experiences, which users like. According to negative evaluations, registering up and adding children might be time-consuming. If you have any queries or issues about your account or the app, please contact support at tillfinancial.io. Is Till Financial legit? Many of our viewers want to know whether or not a debit or credit card offering is legitimate. Rest assured, I'm not going to put time, research, and the channel's credibility behind recommending junk to my viewers. All Till Financial users are automatically insured up to the federally allowable maximum of $250,000 through Coastal Community Bank. Till users can set two-factor authentication for specific purchases and require Touch ID or Face ID to log into their account for enhanced security. Till has the right to revoke a debit card permanently if it is not used for 120 days or more. How much does Till Financial cost? There are no monthly fees, no inactivity fees, no domestic in-network ATMs withdrawal fees. There are also no fees for return deposit items, no fees for money transfers, and no fees for insufficient funds. However, there is a $5 card replacement fee, a 3% international debit transaction fee, and a $5 fee for international ATM withdrawals. There are no monthly or annual subscription costs. This is, for the most part, a fee-free account. Adding additional cards and sub-accounts to an account is free. Fees are only charged on foreign transactions or by third parties. Till defines idleness as 90 days or longer of no user-initiated action. There is no fee for this, but Till reserves the right to terminate your account if it has been inactive for this long. While Till does not charge for ATM use, proprietors of out-of-network ATM may. There is no compensation for ATM withdrawals. How to sign up? Check my link in the description to sign up for Till.
A pair can sign up for a Till family banking account by entering their phone number on the website or by installing the app and signing up through it. They will be asked to finance their account by attaching an external bank, and then they will be given the option to add admins, community members, and sub-accounts. A minimum opening balance is not required to open an account. Check to see if your bank is played compatible before joining up and funding your account. Check out these videos on your screen on how to improve your finances. If you like this video, hit the like button so the YouTube algorithm promotes our video to other like-minded people. Be sure to subscribe and share the video with your friends. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.